Welcome guys to my welcome guys to my next video on how to upgrade your stock flash chip on your game and watch to an upgraded flash chip. For example, we have one here which is the 512 megabit SBI flash, which will hold a lot more games for us um, on our modded game and watch. So this is the chip that we're going to be replacing the stock chip with. Let me zoom in on that for you. So that's what the chip looks like. And notice on this chip that there's no actual chip legs. When I show you the stock chip here, there's chip legs. But we're going to be replacing it with a chip that does not have chip legs. Or pegs, if you call them. So that these, this chip here, the replacement chip, just has pads on the back. So we're going to be lining up these pads with the old chips pads and that will replace it with the new chip. So I'll put this down for now. What we're going to need for this um, chip replacement is a heat gun. So I picked this one up on Amazon. I'll give you a link on good heat gun to buy. This one's not too bad. It's not the best, but it gets the job done. Um, Next, we're gonna need some flux. So if you guys are familiar with soldering, you'll know what flux is, and you know what flux to use, but this is the stuff that I use for this job here. MG Chemicals Rosin Flux Pen. So this works for what we're doing here. And that's pretty much it. Let's jump right into it. So what I'm gonna do is turn on my heat gun and put it to about a lower temperature to start. But first we're gonna get our flux out, shake it up a bit, and what I'm gonna do is right here where the flash chip is, on all the pegs or all the legs on the flash chip, we are going to cover in the res or the um, rosin pen here, or flux pen. So I'm going to get some flux on here, and I'm going to get some flux on here. So get it nice and covered in flux. So when we heat it up with our heat gun, it will come right off. And again, what you're going to need for this, I forgot to mention, is a pair of um, pliers here. something similar to get the chip off. So I have my heat gun to about 350, so I'm gonna let it heat up. Um, each heat gun's different, so if you have a different one and wanna use a different temperature, that's fine, but this is the temperature I'm gonna start with, just to try out. So I'm gonna zoom in as much as possible here on what I'm doing. So you guys can get a good idea. So I'm just going to apply heat to the chip here. Okay, so I did manage to get it off. Um, but if you notice up here, let me just turn my heat gun off. If you notice up here, I melted uh, where the battery is a little bit. Um, you just want to be very careful, stuff like that. And I did disconnect the battery. I forgot to disconnect the battery. So make sure you disconnect the battery and I would recommend taking the battery right out of the machine or right out of the Game & Watch and um, doing it like that because I totally forgot about this and I'm pretty new at doing this so I'm learning as I go. But if you take a look there, um, what I'm going to do now is clean up the area with alcohol. So if you take a look right there, I got the pads off, no problem. And I have the old chip right here. Just show you guys. Here's the old chip, and it came right off um, with the direct heat applied to the pad legs. So you just want to be careful of all the other chips around. Um, sometimes people like to use this heat tape. Let me just zoom out here a bit. People like to use this heat tape to tape around the. Uh, other chips around the chip that we're taking off 
Um, that is recommended. I would recommend doing that. Um, but for this video, I'm not doing it. So I'm just going to pause it for a minute and clean up the pads on the Game & Watch here where my new chip is going to go. So let me just pause that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cleaned up the area where the pads go here with alcohol and a toothbrush. So if you take a look right there, it's nice and clean where it's supposed to be. Um, what I'm going to do here now is get my um, soldering gun and just add a little bit of solder to the pads. You might have to not have to do that, but I just want to do it just to be sure so we get a good connection. So I'm going to heat up my soldering iron here and just put a little bit of solder on each pad. And what we're going to do here, let's get a clear picture. We're going to put flux on it. Going to cover our pads in flux. And I removed the battery because I was melting it. So we don't want to do that. Don't do what I do sometimes. Okay, so we have a nice, nice soldering on our pads now. As you can see there. Oops. So, what we're going to do now is heat up our heat gun again. Put it on a low um, air setting. And we're going to put the other chip on. And hopefully that, I'm gonna take a look in the video, but hopefully you made sure the orientation of the old chip so we can put the other orientation back. So I'll be right back and then check that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I got the right orientation. If not, we'll fix it. So again, I'm gonna put a little bit more flux on here just for even flow. I'm going to get my replacement chip, put it in the right orientation, and I am going to try to heat this on with a heat gun. So that should be where I want it. So as you guys can see there, it just lays on top of the pads. Just like that. So what I'm going to do now is apply heat with the heat gun and hopefully this works. Let the heat gun heat up a bit. Let's kind of get it in the right spot there.
Okay, so I finally did get it here, but at the risk of melting my battery tray here, as you can see. So what I'd recommend next time when I do it here um, is probably take the battery tray or the whole motherboard out. And obviously I am a little bit lazy here. So, but what I did here is I did get the chip on properly with a little bit of a melted battery tray. But that's okay, this is mine. And I'll know for next time. So what I'm gonna do now is go into my computer room and show you guys that this machine will still work. Okay, be right back. Okay guys, so what I've done is cleaned up the contacts here where the chip is. As you can see, my battery's really melted, which isn't the best there, but that's okay. It's a learning experience. So I have everything connected again and I reflashed it on my computer and we still have a working game and watch. So now this game and watch should have 64 megabytes of flash memory um, added on to it. And now we can have fun with it. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe. I just need a few more subscribers so I can actually upgrade my channel properly the way I want it. So if you could do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Take care, have a good one.